also staying on top of that plant fire that led to a shelter in place for Deer Park residents. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Jennifer Reyna. And I'm Andy Sirota. We first broke this story right here on the air a few hours ago, and since then we are learning more about what exactly happened. Channel 2's Anusha Rasta joining us live in Deer Park with those details. Anusha. Andy, both Deer Park Police and a spokesperson for Shell say the fire started inside the Hexion facility within the Shell compound. This is video from Sky 2 above that facility this morning. You can see several fire trucks there and three smokestacks, one of which looks burned. Shell told Channel 2 News the fire started at about 8.15 this morning, but that all employees are accounted for. The company sent us a statement saying in part, quote, the fire was extinguished within 20 minutes and fire crews are standing by to provide additional support. The e-notify and care line messages have been activated. Hexion is determining the cause of the fire along with any impacts to the community. Our Channel 2 viewers snapped photos near the scene of the fire this morning. They sent them in to us. Nathan took these pictures of the thick, dark smoke seen billowing into the air from the direction of that shell plant. These photos appear to have been taken on Highway 225 here in Deer Park. Here's another one for you. Now, the city of Deer Park says they issued a shelter in place about 10 minutes after that fire started, asking folks north of P Street, P as in Paul, to stay indoors. That order was lifted about half an hour later. We caught up with a couple people who received these orders at work this morning. Well, we had uh, uh, gotten a call on the cell phone. One of the ladies in the office had gotten a notice from Channel 2 that the, there was a shelter in place, and then they, we got a phone call, I'd say, within 30 minutes of that. It's scary, no matter where you are when you're near a plant like that, but it's like, you know, what we were worried about mostly was if the chemical, if there was a chemical release, then we would have had to start taping up doors, which turn the air conditioner off and start taping up doors. But we didn't, it didn't get that far, thank goodness, so we were all safe. Right now, no injuries have been reported. Both Shell and the fire department say they are looking into the cause of this fire. For now, reporting live from Deer Park, Anusha Rasta, KPRC Channel 2 News.